How's it going, everybody? Today I'm going to be dropping 10,000 energy into the hard Fire Knight 10. And so here I have like 738 currently, but I'm going to drop um, some more energy pots on me. So I'm going to go in with about 10,000. I'll try to get as close to uh, 10,000 as I can right here. So we have 10,038 right there. Right now we have a Fire Knight turn attack tournament, but I'm not really, I don't really care about the tournament itself. What I do care about is the 3x for Savage that's going on right now. So Savage is actually one of the best sets that I go for in the game. Regen and Savage, they help me access the harder difficulties or they enable me to do certain things that I would normally wouldn't be able to do if I didn't have them. So for example, Savage allows my nukers to hit really damn hard or like place plat or do huge amounts of damage to any of the bosses. For example, Rhodos and Taurus do significant amounts of damage and they're both in like lethal or savage. Regen is really important because uh, I put them on somebody like Aniri or I could put them on Emic, Ninja, Tidor for an example. He's in a regen set. Artak is the person that I use for hard ice golem and he's in a regen set anytime there's a 3x event for savage i definitely go out of my way for it i'm going to do stage 10 i'm gonna put super raids on we have 10,000 energy i'm going to see how many pieces of savage gear that i get at the end of 10,000, and i'm going to see how many of them are actually usable or god tier and um yeah this is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Now I, I can actually do Hard Fire Knight 10 and I have 10,000 energy to do it. So right now it is 920, 9.30, it just turned 9.30 right now. And we're going to go ahead and just let this run 10,000 energy and let's see what happens. I'm not selling anything here, so not, this is all off. And um, we'll just, as you can see, continue multi battles is also off. So in case it fails... Um, I'll know about it and I can let you guys know whether or not this is 100% out of however many runs that we do. So full transparency, there it is. I'm um, continuous cut right here, letting it uh, letting it completely run. And yeah, so I'll let you, I'll, I'll get back to you guys. We'll see how long it takes to get through 10,000 energy, and we'll uh, we'll see. It's still 9:30. It's only been a few seconds. And, but yeah. Uh, so a little update. It's tomorrow. And I let this run overnight, and we just completed 200 battles. This is the 201st battle, and it's all complete. I think it's safe to say that this is a 100% team. It's See right here, it's tomorrow <laughs> at uh, 7.35 a.m. And yeah, not a, single, not a single fail. We still have like about 2,000 energy to burn through. And I do want to point out something with Stagnite. There was one time that Stagnite actually did die, like his HP got really low, and like a bunch of things happened that weren't supposed to happen. Like he got 3%ed where he didn't place his decrease speed, and then he got 3%ed again where he didn't place the decrease attack and decrease um, defense. And he ended up dying against the Fire Knight here. Now, the run still completed. It didn't fail with Grand Oak, Razzlevark, Nut, and, uh, or Newt, Nut, and Cardi, Cardi, I almost said Cardi B, and Cardiel. They were able to do it by themselves without Stagnite, but it took about six minutes. So, what I think I'm going to do with Stagnite later on is probably try putting him in an immortal set um but yeah i just wanted to give you guys that update with stagnite i like to give transparency uh, as much as possible so yeah i'm gonna let this finish up and i'll get back to you at the end but there it is guys check. look at this check this out 251 runs 10,040 energy used and 15 million silver that's just from doing the runs themselves. I took your guys' advice in the comments and I switched Podrick's <laughs> Blessing from Brimstone to Soul Reap. Specifically, Ares was the one who told me about this. And I also changed the position of Nut in the turn order. I didn't know that ally attack actually uh, is influenced by the positions of the champions, so I moved Nut to the very last position. And it actually did help because he was the last one to go ahead and attack the shield, and oftentimes he was able to use a one to push back that turn meter now i was able to 
break my previous record and it, my new personal best is right here two minutes guys on average this is somewhere between two to two and a half minutes now this is everything that we got does it does it show yeah this is everything that we've got a lot of savage what i am mostly curious about is does the 3x savage actually work i don't really know how i'm going to verify or prove or or check to see if it's true I'm, i kind of just eyeball things and i'm like okay well how many savage pieces did i get i think 251 runs of winning is enough for me to say that the team that i put together is a hundred percent i'll keep the cut continuous so that you guys can see that i'm like i'll show you everything so you guys don't think that i'm just trying to use the magic of editing i'm just kidding that's what i do i'm lying to you guys i'm kidding transparent over here all right, so we have one, two. Well, I guess like the way we would, we would do this is to see, and this was on two times, by the way, uh, the super raids. I guess what we can do is count up. That's a lot of gear. That is a lot of gear. Okay, we we can count up everything, and and we got two ancients out of that. So what I'll do is I'll count up everything. Let me just pull up this calculator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we'll take the calculator right here, and that's seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one. So there's the calculator times seventy-one. That's four hundred ninety-seven plus one, two, three. Okay, that's plus three, guys. That's 500. Generally speaking, I don't keep anything that's blue. So blue, anything rare is going to be an auto sell. I don't keep anything five star and below. So all that's going to be sold. And depending on how the, the gear for Savage and Regen, but mostly Savage rolls, I either decide to keep it or not keep it. So like if, if I roll a double... The double roll, like if I, I roll it like a double, um, I don't know, a double attack percentage, that would have to be like 17%, maybe 16%. And I'll show you what I mean a little bit later for me to consider keeping it. Oh, and uh, just so I can keep the cut continuous, like I was saying, yeah, we're, we're Xing out of here. And um, I'll show you guys everything is continue. How do I show you? Let me... Uh, show you that i didn't like cheat or anything so there it is stage 10 and i'll just drop the energy just to prove it look guys it wasn't clicked i didn't click it so it, it's a hundred percent i didn't yeah real quick guys look at this look at the overflow i overflow look i'm almost at cap i'm almost capped out with the gear i need to do a heavy gear cleanse look at all this gear just sitting here no way Kraken problems, all right? It just keeps going. All right. <laughs> That's going to take a while. This is going to take a while. Ignore ignore that offer. I completely forgot about CBC. Of course, we... Wow. I, I'm almost at 30k for this. I, I think he was trying to place a number one. I don't know what for. It's just Relentless and an Ancient Shard. There's no point in being number one for this one. Oh, we got we got prism shards. Hold up, let me pull that. Let me pull this. Okay, all right. Give me Harima. Give give me Harima. I'll take it. Am I an international zero? I'm an internet. Okay, here we go, guys. I'll take another knight or a Valkyrie or another Theodore. This is actually pretty good. I don't need any of the epics. Yeah, there's no epic that I need here. Um, I already have the fusion from Makage. The epic and i'll take another cupidus i like him in fire knight but harima is my number one pick right now i'll also take an elbow or another neck one dude all these guys are good come on lego <sighs> husk damn son they need an auto collect button for all this I, I have to click everything one by one so you saw i had like 500 pieces of gear what i usually do is let me show you what i'm clicking off here i usually sell automatically one to five star gear because i'm well beyond that i don't want decent gear i don't even really care about good gear i want great gear or i want godly gear 
In fact, I do need to do an actual gear cleanse for me. Here's what happened, right? Let's recap. I spent 10,040 energy plus, I might add, because after that energy was gone, I kept using it. So I had a, a like a like several more runs of Hard Fire Night 10 after the last recording when I finished the 10,040 energy. I was looking specifically for Savage Gear, for Godly Savage Gear on a 3x. So that's why I dumped over 10,000 energy. This is what I ended up with. Let me see how many I ended up with. So I ended up with 10 pieces of like passable or decent gear, if you will. Uh, no, I don't. I'll let, well, we're gonna look through all of them just to see if they're actually like good or, or what's up with them. But there was nothing that was like, oh my god, this is a really good piece. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on Rotos, or I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on on Taurus. You know what I mean? I'd say this is a great piece here. We have accuracy. We don't care about that for Savage, but we did get triple attack with crit damage and speed. Look, I don't consider it godly. For me, then let me let me explain what I mean. For me, great pieces of gear, great. Okay, not just good or decent. Great pieces of gear are pieces of gear that have a main stat that I like on a set that I like. So, for example, Savage. Uh, a glove, I would want to see... Let me show you uh, something. Uh, crit damage. I would want to see crit damage, right? Oh, this is actually something that I got, but because it triple rolled um, on res, and I, I did re-roll these. I, I did re-or these, and it, it didn't you know pan out the way that I wanted to. But this would be the beginning of a godly piece for me right so we have crit damage that's a main stat that i like for savage because we're trying to do more damage i do think that if i had a quad roll on something and it rolled on something that i like like quad speed or quad uh crit rate so like a godly piece for me would be a crit damage glove with like crit rate on it see crit damage crit rate speed and attack defense is okay HP percent on the Ascension is okay. I would have preferred to, to get more crit damage, but uh, especially for Rotos, HP is okay. But yeah, so when it comes to godly gear, I'm looking for quad rolls and perfect substats. Perfect substats depending on what the specific piece is. So Savage, I want things like speed, attack, crit damage, crit rate, right? This piece does have accuracy i don't really care about accuracy but it does have triple attack it rolled a triple that's good that's great crit damage great speed i gotta roll on speed i'm not gonna be mad about that that's great but if this was crit rate for an example then i would consider this to be like a little bit more towards the godly side but this for me stays on the great side and you guys can can argue with me or or tell me what you guys think Again, I'm not the best, but this is how I manage my gear, and this is this is my uh, um, prerogative when it comes to how I manage my my gear and what I'm looking for. This is how I rate my gear. But if you have an opinion that you want to share, uh, if you want to teach me something, I'm always open to to learning. That's how I become better by listening to your guys' opinions. So if you think, hey, you know, burrito, you're being too harsh with your gear. This is a godly piece. Let me know, please. And then I'm, I'm always open to reconsidering things. But for me, this is just a great piece of gear. I don't consider this to be godly for, for where I am in, in my game, on my account. This right here is, is good. It's not, it's not completely bad. It's not even just decent. It's, it's pretty good. You know, you, HP, this is something that I would put on Rotos if I didn't already have a really good piece of um, gear on him for, for a savage uh, weapon. But you got the crit rate. You have HP, which is good for Rotos or even Taurus. This would this would benefit. Uh, maybe a little less on Taurus because of attack. We got the speed and attack. So this is this is um, this is good. It's not great. It's good. This is another piece that I got. We got the double on the accuracy. Um, actually, this is not something that I got because I can just tell. So here uh, we got one, two pieces that are notable enough for me to talk about here from 10,000 energy uh not this one this one right here we got speed and double attack with crit rate and crit damage now this is what i consider to be a borderline really good but just at the bottom end of being a great piece all right we do have all of the substats that i want we have all of the substats that i want 
in a Savage piece. We have the speed, attack, damage, crit rate. That's great. So, um, you know, if, if I had rolled something like crit damage, that would have boosted it up for me, in my opinion. Or, like, if I rolled a triple on one of these, that might be better. But, you know, a, a double on attack, we rolled it at 18. That's pretty good. Uh, speed is a good roll. I would have preferred to see this at, like, a triple crit damage. Or, like, even a triple speed would have, would have been huge. Or even a triple crit rate. Um, and the reason being is because I feel like attack is a, little, is a little bit easier to attain versus speed or crit damage. Like, I would rather have a, a triple crit damage or triple speed. Now, this right here did roll double crit damage, and it rolled all the way to 20 on a double. That's, that's huge. Usually, uh, the way I manage my gear is, like, if, if I see, if I do a double roll and it hits like 15 that's a sell for me if it rolls a 16 depending on the other substats it's you know borderline for me 17 is my sweet spot so like if this rolled crit damage 2 and it said 17 right here then i'd be like okay i can keep that piece depending on the substats now uh we did get attack one roll on attack and hp i still consider uh, i still consider sidder this to be i still consider this to be a relatively low end great piece because of that high crit damage boost as well as a you know we got the attack and the hp defense is kind of eh that's also why it brings it down in my my rating when i'm looking at it let me just see this one um double flats over here i'm probably gonna end up selling this one but we'll see this is one mythical i was excited about this piece because i saw we had crit rate hp and speed res is not something that i really look for in a savage piece but i'm okay with it being there just so as just as long as i don't touch it but we did touch it here uh for, uh, is it just me or whenever we get mythical gear the rolls seem to dodge the mythical substat i don't know but we did roll crit rate that 17 percent that i'm talking about was kind of that would have been probably a deal breaker for me if this rolled like a 16 or a 15 i would have been like you know what this is not that good of a piece i can i can work for better i can put this on somebody better or, or put a better piece of shield or a better shield on on whoever i need to to put it on this is this is a well, it's a pretty great piece because of the substats being good and we got the double on the crit rate but it's not like a solid great it's at that bottom tier of being great for me Double crit rate with accuracy and crit damage. We got the double on crit rate. We got the double, or we got the one on the crit damage. I saw this and I thought to myself, Harima. If I had Harima, this would be a great piece for Harima. And why is it also great? Because we double rolled on to 21%. That's pretty big, guys. So we got the crit rate with the crit damage. This is a solid great piece, um, specifically for a defense-based nuker like harima that I, I don't have and accuracy because you do need accuracy um for for some things depending on what you're trying to do like even rotos needs accuracy right because his uh a1 sometimes places decreased defense and that is helpful right but we got the defense so this is a solid great piece especially for a defense based nuker but yeah it's just a solid great piece this one right here we got the triple crit damage with the hp i would have loved to see um i would have loved to see a a quad roll but uh we did get the crit damage with the hp i'm gonna say this is actually pretty godly especially for somebody like taurus because taurus is an hp based nuker he does need a lot of crit damage if you want him to smack hard crit rate is nice and speed is nice i'm gonna say this is godly we got the triple and we got you know but this is this is more towards a um an hp based nuker but we'll still take it this is a definite keep especially with the triple and rolled onto the flat with the res so and then we only got 16 here on the speed so this is i'm probably going to sell this and then we only got 15 here with only 31 when it comes to uh flat based favorable stats like accuracy or res i usually go for 32 32 is my sweet spot 31 is kind of borderline depending on what i got but we rolled double low ends here for subbies so this is probably going to get sold as well and we roll if this rolls a triple 
on the speed, I'm probably going to keep this and it'd be a solid great piece. Got the 16 there, and the subs don't really mesh too well. I might sell that. HP, crit rate, speed with flat HP. It's going to eh. Um, no, sorry. Let me focus on what, what I wanted to focus on. We did get attack percent on the chest. We got the crit damage. That's good. Now, I don't like seeing defense when I have attack because it's redundant stats. Not that there's anything wrong with defense. There's there's always room for defense. You, you do want to have some defense on your, your nukers, but when I'm really looking to just smack, I don't care about defense. I prefer to have something like crit rate or attack. Or, I mean, you can't get attack percent, but or speed, you know what I mean? We did get the quad roll. We did get a quad roll on accuracy. Um, you know, this would go good on somebody like Lord Shazar, because you do need attack for the bombs, and you do need accuracy to land the bombs, but I don't really use Shazar for anything. And we, help, we also have flat attack. So it's kind of it's kind of an RIP chest piece and I, I might sell it but i don't know we'll hold on to it for now it is a quad i like keeping quads then we have defense based um nuker crap so speed um actually i know and then there's this one this one's uh we got this one it's kind of i'm still thinking about how i feel about it we did get a flat but we got speed and hp with crit damage and it's a defense based chest i don't have too many of those for savage so that's another thing to consider so all in all, I ended up with, after spending 10,000 energy, I, I ended up with, specifically on a 3x for Savage, I ended up with, what, like, I'd say that this one right here is probably the only godly piece that I got. I got one godly piece, and this is still kind of like, eh, you know, I'm not really sure about it. But then everything else, the other seven pieces were just great, but a lot of them were, like, on the low end of great. They're, like, they're usable, Okay, so how do I feel about the entire thing after spending over 10,000 energy for a 3x on Savage after rolling up all of those pieces? What do I think about it? Honestly, like, I, I feel a little bit baffled by the amount of energy that I spent on hard 10, over 250 runs on hard 10, over 10,000 energy, and I didn't really get anything. It's just, it's just crazy. It's, it's absolutely crazy that you could run um fire knight for as much as you can and you can even as a spender walk away with practically nothing i, I can't imagine what it's like for free-to-play players trying to get really good pieces of gear being free to play or low spenders like it's it's insane and you know it's not just me i actually found this post on reddit talking about this guy two years ago who spent twenty thousand energy on fire knight 25 runs for this uh, event for savage and he only got three really good pieces of gear. Like, this is this is all that he got. The drop rates are insanely abysmal. And I've actually talked about this with um, some Kraken friends of mine, some really high-end, like, they know a lot more than I do, and they spend a significant amount of money, more so than I ever have. I'm talking, like, 60K in, like, the, the span of several months, right? And what they tell me is that it actually makes more sense if you're going to be a spender to buy the gear packs because you have a, a better likelihood to get the gear sets that you're looking for and they're, they're specifically talking about if you're looking for a specific piece of gear like savage it's better to not fall for the 3x events and buy a ton of energy it's actually better to just buy the gear sets because you can spend a lot of money for chances to get a specific piece of gear that you're looking for and end up walking away with nothing. I mean, like, look at, like, how many pieces of, of gear are in here. There's different gear sets, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine, you know, different sets in here. And if you, you can run all, you can run this all you want. But at the end of the day, like, you're going to more than likely end up with one of the other pieces. I mean, I ended up with, after this, I ended up with 500 pieces of gear. I automatically sold like over like I don't know 90% of them after my initial cleanse I ended up with 114 pieces of gear and then out of the 114 I ended up with about 30 pieces of savage that that were left over then I rolled pieces up and the ones that I kept that I showed you are the what was left the usable pieces of gear the seven 
pieces of usable gear that are borderline usable because I, I haven't even really like stopped to think about it again. So realistically, after I sell out of those seven, after I sell those, I might end up only walking away with just like one or two, if that. And I only ended up with one godly piece. So they were saying like, oh, you know, just it's better to just buy the gear packs. And I'm not telling you what to do. You can have your opinion or whatever. I, I, I don't care. I'm just telling you what, what they told me. And at first I didn't believe it because I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to buy energy or I'm just going to save a bunch of energy and dump it all on a 3x event. But I'm baffled now because I'm, I'm realizing like, dude, I think they're right. If I wanted a very specific piece of gear, it would make more sp sense for me to spend $30 or, or $40 or whatever it is than to spend $100 or more on energy for a shot in the dark. I'd rather get the specific pieces of gear that I want at the rarity and, and level that I want and give myself another chance because it gives you ore. So like even if I if I get a substat for for flat attack and I don't know boots, I could re ore it and then maybe it'll it'll do it. But then again, that's another chance. That's also why I'm telling you, uh, maybe consider not doing it and just kind of whenever you get the gear, you get the gear. But I mean like, I I'd say I have like pretty good gear, right? But I've been playing for over five years and I'm a spender. It takes a while to get godly gear to get really good gear. Now that I know this, now that I've experienced this, after being surprised at what I didn't walk away with, I'm kind of like, yeah, you know what? I think I think they're onto something. And then I, t I hit them up again. I was like, hey, dude, I think you were right. I was talking to my, my friend um, who, who initially told me this. And um, I, I have it here on my Discord. Uh, here in my gear section of Discord, I was like showing my pieces of gear and I talked about it with some of the people. And like the other Krakens that I like, like I was talking to, like I, like I was saying, oh, I spent over 10k energy on 3x. I, I only walked away with one godly piece. That's the one I was talking about. I'd say he's a Kraken. He's like farming gear as a scam. This guy um, is another Kraken who's spent a lot. And he's the one who, who told me um, to just buy the gear packs if you're a spender. If you're a spender, again, if you're a spender, it might be better if you are looking for a specific set, it's better to buy the packs. It makes more sense economically. But if you're looking for gear, which early on you are, if you're looking for gear, farming is better. Again, he even showed me the numbers. This was a long time ago when I was only when I wasn't doing YouTube, I was only streaming on Twitch. You know, he told me this. I didn't believe him because I was like, no, free to play lifestyle. Um, but now that I'm a spender, I'm a little more, you know, you know, it's, it's different. Again, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. I'm just sharing my experience and my initial my thoughts with you here. Even if you get a flat, you can reroll with the ores provided. The chance of you getting six usable pieces or getting nothing from farming, which sounds better to you? Obviously, I'd rather walk away with six usable pieces than to get nothing. Talk to other people who do buy the gear packs and I ask them like, okay, do you think the probability of you rolling better pieces, rolling better substats are better on sets that are gear pieces that you buy? The majority of them might be biased, but they tell me, yeah, that the substats, the, the rolls are better on bought pieces of gear, which I wouldn't put it past Polarian. I wouldn't put it past them that they give better chances on things that you buy. I mean, like, for an example, uh, I bought Void Shards um, a while ago, and with the bought Voids that I got, I pulled Tuanara, Cardiel, and Yumiko. Oh, no, I, pu I pulled Cardiel and Warlord in one 10 pull. After that, I pulled a Yumiko. Another time that I bought shards, I pulled Taurus. You know what I mean? So, like, I think they might be onto something there. And to those of you who might say, just farm lethal gear, it's free once you start doing the Dark Fae. Yeah, I agree with you. But, you know, the Dark Fae only comes around every, what, three months or something like that? Every third rotation. So you have to wait to get it. And then after that, you know, you, you gotta do this and uh, hope that you get some good pulls. I've been farming the, um, the Dark Fae for quite some time. And, like, let's see how many pieces of gear that I have from the Dark Fae. I've got a good bit, but I've been doing this for a while. It's like, yeah, you can farm the Dark Fae, but it takes a while to even get to the Dark Fae. And even when you get there, it's like, how likely are you to be able to farm it consistently? I actually have a, a prism shard available to pull. So let's go ahead and just pull it and hope we get a Harima finally. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! 